with your first fighter out of the blue corner, please welcome Della Dragonfist Westbrook. Out of the red corner, please welcome Mason. Punches in the punches, Taylor. The last time we saw Mason Taylor, he was wearing some karate pants in here. Now he's got the tie shorts. Hey, listen, I love it. We had a backflip, a front flip, a cartwheel. Yeah, yeah I mean, this <laughs> doing all the tricks. Yeah. They, they're really bringing it. They're not they worried about gassing at all. Four, four, six Absolutely. inches tall, looking to get his first win in the cage out of St. John Doe Academy. And Mason stands four foot seven inches tall with a one and zero record out of Lake Norman Muay Thai. All right, folks, it's up to you to cheer these fighters on. Let's give them some courage. Let's give them some bravery. Round number one, make some noise. If I remember correctly, Mason Taylor's nickname comes from his fighting debut, where he had insane volume and he's already right off to a big start here. He's ready. He he's is ready. ready. A lot taller too. He's got a little, oh, push kick. You know, that's really extremely frustrating when you're Mason. You're just trying to get your foot set, just trying to get, just trying to get in your stance and you just keep getting pushed you have over. someone right in your face. And that aggression that we were talking about from Taylor, Hey, he trains with Madison over at Lake Norman Muay Thai. Yeah, you they got, know aggressive. You got to think that that kid's room is vicious. A spinning back fist. <laughs> oh, he was doing a lot of those in his last fight, too. Oh, oh and he dropped the body shot. And just like that's the wild thing about the fight game is you can be the one putting the pressure on and aggressive and winning the fight in one shot you like that. You just get clipped. Yep, you just get clipped. I think that might have been low. Oh, a low blow. I think so. It's not something you have to think See, about. See, that's not time, something I have know. to think yeah, about. Yeah, like, <laughs> my, or if if not, he's an expert at playing it low. Already an expert. Because to me, yeah, because to me, it looked like it was body, but you know, I could be wrong. I mean, I would never put it past these adults, so I won't put it past the kids yeah. either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Screaming at the ref. Dragon Fist is ready to go. Mason Taylor now punching in a bunch. Living up to his nickname. And it's something like that when you la when you land a shot like that, it gives you confidence. Yes. Right. You came in you're a lot more confident after landing that shot. Especially after being slowed down so much by that low strike. 
just overwhelms the Dragon Fist. Have to adjust the headgear. Going to get the standing eight count here. Yeah, to me that time it looked like he's got a little overwhelmed mentally as well as physically. I think that's what you're going to see more often than the kids when it comes to the finishes anyway. Is it just comes from them Let's getting go, overwhelmed. That's going to be it. They're going to call this one for Mason Taylor out of Lake Norman. Muay Thai, here comes another back backflip. Flip. Nails it. Justin Gaethje would be proud of that one. Yes, he would. <laughs> Well done to Mason Taylor, Lake Norman Muay Thai team picking up another win. I think a big thing there, even though it says on paper these guys are only an inch apart in height, I don't think that is actually the case. I think they need to remeasure Mason Taylor's height maybe a little bit. I think he might be closer to 4'8". Or Devin might be a little shorter without shoes on. That might be the case too. You know, I feel like taking a loss too as a kid, man. It's a lot harder. It's a lot harder as a kid to take that loss. It's a lot harder, but you know, hopefully they have a little bit of perspective, right? Like you're yeah. young. You're, if, you're, if you plan on doing this for a long time, you're probably gonna win. You're probably gonna lose. Yeah. In life, winning, winning, and losing that is the biggest lesson that these kids can learn from that. Definitely. And how to and how to lose, right? And how to and deal how to with lose. it. Fighters to the center of the cage, please. Both fighters to the center of the cage for the results. And your winner by referee stoppage, 113 in the first round. Please make some noise for Mason. Punch him. Hey, Arthur. Thanks, Mason.